Hey guys, welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. So today is uh, day two, and this is stage 20, and this is on hard mode, guys. Hard mode, Nether Spider. I'm doing a video every single day to try and get through all the boss fights. And I'll do it every day, even on the repeat bosses, because it's a different game when you get up the levels with these guys, I think. Um, you know, at stage 20, this isn't going to be too difficult, really. But once you reach to wherever he is at stage 60 or 70, whenever we get him again, it will be a completely different team we'll need to use. But the spider is pretty difficult, actually. He's got some pretty cool abilities. You need to try and get around him. Um, I'm using Doom Priest, a couple of cold hearts. You'll see a lot of cold hearts in these videos because the enemy I max HP is great against bosses. Royal Guard for the same reason. And... I'm using Lysand uh, Lydia here, sorry. Um, Lydia is for the AoE. Well, just, I just need basically defense down and weaken. Razen can do it, but he's weak to Spirit Affinity, so he's not going to hit all the time. So let's just go ahead with this, and I'll explain my team choice once we get to the actual boss. Right, we're on here. I'm just going to... I'm going to try and save this for the actual boss here, and these, these guys are pretty weak just now. So I can pretty much just kind of muck about with these guys and now and kill them with the cold hearts. Because they don't do a lot of damage. I'm not going for a speed run here guys by the way, I just want to go into the boss fight with all the abilities up. Just so you guys can see what is going on. So again, this this is not difficult at all, especially if you've got half decent champions. Even the Cold Hearts A A1, sorry, is pretty much destroying them all. Try and kill these guys first because they will revive these other two champs and it can be a bit of a nightmare. There we go. Right, to the boss. So the spider's a bit awkward. So again, it's got the passive here. This one is um immune to provokes, unlike the last champion, the Magma Dragon, but Stun, Sleep, Freeze, Provoke, Block Cooldown Skills, Fear, True Fear, loads of stuff. Um, yeah, loads. it's not immune to Turn Meter decrease, but as you'll read here, can be a bit of an issue. So, attacks all enemies at the start of each turn, deals damage from all Poison debuffs on each enemy instantly. So this just basically activates one round of Poison debuffs. Um, it's pretty, it's kind of like a Lan, is it a Laneral or something? Um, or Xavier's ability is pretty strong. When attack, attacked by an enemy under a poison debuff, increases the duration of all debuffs on the attacker by one turn, then places poison sensitivity on them as well. So, yeah, if they've got poison in the attack, it's not good for them. When attacked by an enemy that has no poison debuffs, places a 5% poison debuff on them for four turns. It can't be blocked or resisted. So, it's pretty strong, this. This is going to be really difficult when we get up the levels. Um, before I go into anything, this is the the uh, thought process behind Doom Priest being in here, because he does a I don't know if it's a he is Doom Priest a he or a she who knows um, cleanses all of the poisons every single turn. So that is a really really MVP champion in this fight for me just now. Whether or not that works up the levels, we'll have to see. Um, this is a massive issue. It counterattacks whenever an enemy decreases Agra's turn meter. And the damage inflicted is equal to the amount of turn meter lost and will ignore 100% of the defense. Um, this is a massive issue. Um, it's pretty rough because really you could just keep decreasing the turn meter the whole time, but stuff like the cold hearts, they're just going to decrease the turn meter by 100% and then boom, they're dead. So that is a big issue. When this, the spiraling spawn, it's pretty hard this fight. You want to try and get around not getting the spiralings to spawn because they all have counter attack and will team up with spiralings. Um, and there can be four max at any time. And then the A1 attacks all enemies and puts poison on all enemies for four turns. I mean, four turns is a long time, guys. It's pretty difficult, this. Um, we'll repeat the, repeat the attack one time for each spiraling without any active buffs. Poison debuffs cannot be resisted or blocked. So, this is stage 20 on hard. To be honest, the best way to do this is just to kill it before anything happens. So, as you can see here, I'm basically I'm going to hit a decrease turn meter on this one here. And look, boom, I took some damage. That gives me some time there. I'm going to increase the attack. And I'm going to put down decreased defense and weaken. So now I can just kill the spider 
Look at the damage there, boom. Heart Seeker, and then enemy max HP. That's how easy that is. But this is in stage 20. It's on hard mode, don't get me wrong. This will destroy pretty much every single level on normal mode. Even if it's the final boss, I would imagine that will probably work on normal. But on hard mode, on 20, it still works pretty well, this. So that's the team, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. If you leave any comments, if you want me to replace any of the champions with champions you have, just leave in the comments below what you don't have, and I'll see what I can do for a replacement for you. But yeah, have a great day, folks. Peace.